peeps, welcome to another video. Today it is my January sewing plans and fabric haul. I haven't done one of these for quite a while because I did my giant 70s pirate capsule collection video back in September and that was meant to cover the next sort of four or five months going forward. And I've realised that yes, I'm going to be still working on that collection. I absolutely love it. I love how it's turning out. But I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see how I'm kind of breaking it down into smaller chunks, compartmentalising it as it were. So I have a pile of fabrics next to me here that I'm hoping to make up in January. Having said that, hopefully, hopefully, we will have moved house in January, which means that I won't have access to a sewing room for a little while so who knows if these will actually get done but I'm hoping to and this is what I would like to get done over the next month. So the first one I have two cuts of this fabric it is a textured cotton called Bisou from Lady McElroy. I got it via Sherwood Fabrics. I initially bought three meters of it and then I went back and bought another two meters because I would like to make the Vogue 8997 dress out of this. I have made one of these before, I've done a sew along for it and I love that dress. I don't intend to make this one quite as long as the last one that I made but I would like it to be kind of mid calf length. I'm planning on making it sleeveless again because I would like this one to be worn over different blouses that I intend to make in part of this collection. I'm putting on the off the blouses and tops until the very end, until I've done all the other bits and pieces. Because I, for some reason, I, I don't like making them. Because I think I've had so many go wrong. I think once I've got a few that go right, once I've perfected a few patterns, it'll be one of those ones that I'll just make loads. But yeah, my blouse and top selection is pretty minimal pretty minimal. I plan on making that dress in this fabric because I think in the summer months I'll be able to wear it just as a dress and then in the cooler months I'll be able to wear it as a layering piece and I love 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 the silhouette of that dress it's so swooshy and just wonderful and it's an empire line but it's fitted over the waist as well so it's a magical dress I love it and I re would really like to make some more of it and I think this heavier weight cotton will really do the pattern justice so next up I have this khaki or military green and it's 55% terraline 45% wool it's made in England and I got this it's a Lady McElroy fabric and I got it from Sherwood Fabrics I have two and a half meters of this and I did intend to make trousers with it. I may still make trousers with it, but it's a bit stiffer than I thought it was going to be, and it's really itchy. So if I make trousers, they're gonna to need to be fully lined. I was thinking though that I might make the McCall 7906 with this, which is a skirt pattern that I think, because it's stiffer, I think it would suit it. It would hold the pleats quite well. The other option I was thinking about is the Style Arc Ziggy Jacket, and I have enough for all three of those kind of options. Uh, trouser wise I would make the Pauline Alice sorrel trousers. I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm going to do with this but it's going to be one of those three things. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> There's yeah, a skirt, trousers or a jacket but I like the colour and I do like the fabric. It's just like I say itchier and stiffer than I was expecting it to be. So next I have my prism border print. This is a mystery polyester fabric that I got from the Goldhawk Road. It has this kind of border print prism effect colours all along the one edge. I plan on making trousers with this. I have three meters of it. I'm going to be using the Pauline Alice sorrel trousers. I have traced out that pattern. I just need to go in and tweak it because I have a there's a very big difference between my hips and my waist. I think there was four size difference. I also need to have a look at the crotch depth on that one because I know it's not going to be deep enough and I want it to be high-waisted trousers. I've traced the pattern now. I've got that far. I need to alter the pattern. I need to make a muslin and then once I've got the muslin perfected I'm going to make it out of this fabric and I'm really excited about this fabric and I know when I showed you guys this one in the overall collection you guys were really excited about this fabric as well so I think it's going to be a really fun make and make some amazing trousers. I've got three more fabrics here and it's going to become quite obvious that I am planning trouser month. I'm going to attempt trouser month. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We'll, we'll see. So this next one I have is some emerald green slub denim that I got from Empress Mills. I have three meters of this. I can't decide between the Decades of Style Empire trousers, which I have traced, or the True Bias Lander trousers or pants as they are called, which again I have traced. I think it would probably make more sense 
to do the lander pants in this, I think. But I kind of like the idea of the Decades of Style Empire waist trousers, especially if I put on some big belt carriers, like I did with my McCall's 7906 skirt. I think that could look really awesome in this fabric. It could also look awful, but again, I am going to make a muslin of those trousers, because again, I've traced them, but I need to tweak the fit and the crotch depth and smooth out the curves because again there was a giant difference between the two sizes that I've traced. I'm going to attempt, I th I th I'm leaning towards the Decades of Style Empire trousers for these ones but let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you think that would be daft in a denim or do you think it would be really cool? I kind of like the idea but yeah let me know in the comments what you think. Next up we have this wool from Lady McElroy. It's called Brielle. This is very drapey and much, much, this is what I thought I was getting when I got the military green one. It's got a lovely twill texture to it. This is definitely going to be the Pauline Alice sorrel trousers as well as the border print. I think both of these, these fabrics in that pattern are going to look gorgeous. I'm really looking forward to it. I think what I'll do with the muslin is I will try the two different po pocket options on the muslin. So I'll do the welt pockets on one side and the patch pockets on the other side and see if I have a preference of the two or if I like both just as much and then make decisions about which trousers get which pocket type. I might end up leaving them off altogether, possibly because like pockets drawing attention to an already large butt. So not 100% sure which pocket option I'll go for on the back, if any at all, but I think that that's a sensible plan with the muslin is to try both and see which ones I prefer. But this fabric is absolutely gorgeous. Again, from Lady McElroy, I have two and a half meters of this, which I hope is enough for the Pauline Alice sorrel trousers. I think it is. I can get more of this and I'm tempted to get a little bit more to possibly make a waistcoat as well because I think that would look really really cool. I love this colour, I'm excited about those trousers. And then the final fabric I have to show you, it's a very quick fabric haul today, it's still like you know one, two, three, four, five, six. Really? Yeah six fabrics, wow. It's a small fabric haul. <laughs> I have some more of the Jungle Tropics cotton drill. This has some spandex in it, so it has got a little bit of stretch, which I think for trousers is gonna be awesome. These are definitely going to be the lander pants. I think I'm gonna try and do the concealed fly with these ones though. I like the button front fly and I will do that on a pair, but I think the concealed fly is going to be better with these because these are already really loud and like I would go for copper if I could find them but having buttons copper buttons down the front I think might be a bit much so I think yeah the concealed fly with these ones but I'm really really looking forward to seeing how these turn out. I have a lot of scraps left over from my Vogue 8577 shirt dress that I made with the cotton lawn of this print and I used that to line the waistband and the pockets on the skirt that I've made from this print. So I'm going to do the same thing and use the cotton lawn for the pockets and lining pieces for this. These are going to be the loudest trousers in the world. I do appreciate that. <laughs> and I'm not ruling out buying a little bit more to make a matching waistcoat either. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a bit much, mightn't it? I mean, there's there's 70s dreams and then there's just 70s parody, so maybe, maybe. But I, I love this print. I really, really love this print. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's got leaves on it, so of course I love this print. I think lander pants for these ones with the concealed fl fly front are going to look awesome. I know Rachel's made the lander pants recently and she messaged me to let me know that she has a very similar figure to me so she has a small waist and big hips and she let me know that the the, the sizes that she tried she ended up with it, with it being very tight getting it on and off so I think I might need to even I'm going to need to deepen the crotch length on the lander pants as well but I think I might need to make the fly just a little bit longer to account for the difference in sizes. Traced all these patterns out, I've cut them out, but I haven't got to the alteration stage yet so I'm going to need to deepen the crotch length, I'm going to need to smooth out the big curve that there is between the waist size that I've traced and the hip size that I've traced. I will need to have a look at the fly depth to see if I can make it slightly longer so that it's easier to get in and out of these because that's generally a concern for me for certain things because it's the size of my butt and then the size of my waist 
I don't really have to put much longer zips in things so that I can step into them. I remember my Playboy bunny uniform, I kept telling them when they were fitting it to me that they would need to put a longer zip in and they were like, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And they kept fitting it without the crotch seam done up. So they, they fit it and they fit it and they fit it. Then they did the crotch seam up and I tried to put it on and I couldn't get it over my hips. And they were like, oh, we're gonna need to put a longer zipper in. It's like, what did I say? <laughs> So, all these other girls had the, the the regulation pretty zippers that went in the back of theirs and I had the, what was basically a coat zip in the back of mine. <laughs> but it did, I had to have it go down lower so that I could get it over my, get the waist portion over my, my hips to get it on. But yeah, that I mean that was hilarious, that was really hilarious. That's my plans for January and you guys have been saying to me that I need to make big plans which will then, you know, encourage the universe to give us a moving date. So I've tried that again, lots and lots of plans for January. So fingers crossed we get a moving date and I won't have a sewing room and won't be able to get to any of these. But if I do have the ability to sew, these are the things that I would like to make. Which one are you looking forward to seeing most? Let me know in the comments section down below which is your favourite and if you would use a different pattern for any of these because you may re well recommend a pattern that I have not heard of yet. So yeah, let me know in the comments section down below what you would do with these fabrics. I would be very interested to hear. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!